Lake Power Station, the first of its kind in the world, is well under construction in Cumberland. Known as Calder Hall, it stands close to the wind-scale plutonium factory. Vast machinery is needed for the project. A section of one of the boilers is manoeuvred carefully through narrow streets as it nears the end of its 150-mile journey from Glasgow. Electricity for the national grid will be supplied by the power station. Reactors will generate heat from which steam will be made. This will drive turbo alternators which will feed electricity into the grid. Here a crane is being erected to lift machinery weighing up to 150 tons. Towering 200 feet high, the crane, known to the workmen as the big stick, is held fast by strong cables against winds of gale force sweeping across the site. The crane goes to work to raise the boiler section into place. The workmen, who are housed nearby in a huge camp, are joined by Sir Christopher Hinton, the Atomic Energy Authority's production chief, as the boiler is welded together. The job done, an X-ray machine checks the wells. Although no official forecast has been made about the date when the power station will be completed, it is believed that it should be ready within 18 months. Britain's second atom power station is scheduled for the north of Scotland.